These are the FMC pages the crew uses for the initial pre-flight of the FMC. They are similar to the pages in the 747. The location of some of the data may be different, but the concepts are the same. You use the position initialization page to initialize the ADARU. Any of these entries may be used to initialize the ADARU. AIMS sets the Universal Time Coordinate, or UTC. The route page title is colored cyan to indicate there is not an active flight plan in Route 1. All flight plan waypoints are entered on page 2. The page title is white when the route is active. On the ground, the route key displays route page 1. In the air, the route key displays route page 2. The print prompt prints a copy of the currently displayed flight plan on the flight deck printer. Alternates are discussed in a later lesson. As you have seen so far, several colors appear on the CDU. An active root page title is shown in white. White is also used for most data on the CDU. The color cyan indicates an inactive route. Cyan is also used for ADF information. VOR information is shown in green. Off-on selects are also green. These are shown later. A pending flight plan modification is displayed in shaded white. Magenta indicates fly to parameters such as active waypoints, active air speeds. These are the pages the crew uses to pre-flight the FMC before engine start, which are also similar to the 747. The performance initialization page now allows entry of a minimum fuel temperature value. When fuel temperature approaches the entered value, this ICAST message displays. There are now two takeoff reference pages for entering takeoff data. Be careful to enter the CG into the CG line and not into the thrust line. CG values can be accepted by the FMC as assumed temperatures. For if entries are required on page 2, you should wait until the page 2 entries are complete. The reference speeds are now selected. If data is entered on page 2 at this time, the takeoff speeds on page 1 return to reference speeds in small font, and the message Takeoff Speeds Deleted displays. The FMC calculated reference speeds may be redisplayed for comparison by pushing the Reference Speeds Select prompt. The prompt changes to ON and the FMC calculated reference speeds appear again. Datalink allows the FMC to talk to the computer at dispatch or request data from the FMC. Similarly, you can send FMC data to dispatch or you can request data from dispatch. Data such as flight plans, performance, and takeoff data can be transmitted with Datalink. After data arrives, the crew must take action before the FMC can use it. The FMC COM page in the 777 is similar to the 747, but with some enhancements. It is accessed with the FMC COM key and provides an index of FMC pages with Datalink commands. Datalink operations on the route page and descent forecast page are identical. Display the route page to see an example of how they work. 
Touch the highlighted key. Request the route with data link. The prompt indicates the request is being processed. The route request has been sent. After the data arrives from dispatch, a COM message appears, an FMC scratchpad message appears, and load and purge prompts appear. If you select the purge prompt, you would delete the uplink and then dispatch would have to send another uplink. Use purge when you want to prevent the uplinked data from overriding a flight plan. The load prompt displays the uplinked FMC route. Select load. The loaded route is inactive and must be activated in the usual manner to be used. Data link operations on the performance initialization and win pages are identical and slightly different from data link operations on the route and descent forecast pages. Display the performance initialization page to see an example. Request the performance initialization data. Notice the data is loaded in small letters for immediate review, unlike the previous example. Reject clears the data from the FMC. Accept makes it permanent. Accept the data link. The performance data is accepted. Now select the thrust limit page. Note the outside air temperature. You will need this later. Display the takeoff reference page to continue. You can send data to dispatch to make the takeoff data more accurate. Enter the gross weight into the takeoff gross weight line. Display takeoff reference page 2 to continue with the data link preflight. Enter the outside air temperature. Display page 1 to send. The request includes the airplane gross weight, departure runway, and the current temperature. Dispatch can use this information to make your takeoff data more accurate. Although it is not yet shown, Dispatch has sent two sets of takeoff data, a standard set of data. The standard data is based on flaps 15, full thrust, this runway, and the gross weight you sent. Display the next page to check the data link information. The standard data is also based on the outside air temperature you sent. Dispatch has sent the standard limit takeoff gross weight. The standard takeoff data is valid up to this maximum gross weight. Dispatch has also sent an alternate set of takeoff data. This set is based on an assumed temperature and a thrust D rate. Select the alternate thrust takeoff data. Selecting alternate thrust creates an uplink condition similar to the previous request. However, when a previous uplink has already been accepted, the scratch pad displays takeoff data loaded. The alternate data is valid up to this maximum gross weight. The information on takeoff reference page 1 is now based on the alternate data. Return to takeoff reference page 1. The alternate thrust takeoff data must be accepted or rejected. Reject the alternate thrust data. Touch the highlighted key. Rejecting uplink data returns the display to the previously accepted data. GPS information is on the position reference page. Display the position reference page to see how to control and use GPS. You are correct. This will display the index prompt. 
but the index prompt is already displayed. The set inertial position display blanks. When the Aderu enters the navigation mode, after you taxi and then stop for a minimum amount of time, the line blanks again when the airplane moves. Display the position reference page 2 to see which navigation source the FMC is using. The FMC is using GPS as the primary navigation source. The radio information is blank on the ground. In the air, it displays radio position and update information. Select the position reference page 3. Position Reference Page 3 has a GPS Inhibit Select. Inhibit the GPS from updating the FMC. The FMC can no longer use GPS to update itself. Display Position Reference Page 2 to see if the FMC is still using GPS. Touch the highlighted key. Page 2 confirms the FMC has switched from GPS updating to radio updating. Sometimes in flight, the FMC position may drift away from actual position. If this happens, the FMC may be manually updated with the position from another navigation system. Manual updating is accomplished on the position reference page 2. Select position reference page 2. Select the update arm prompt. The FMC can be updated to the Aderu, GPS, or to radio position. Update the FMC to the GPS position. Touch the highlighted key. The FMC is immediately updated to the GPS position. Let's look at the progress page. Touch the highlighted key. A flight plan modification is being made on another CDU page. Mod appears any time a flight plan modification is in progress. The destination estimates include the flight plan modification. Destination appears again after the modifications are complete. The destination line may be used to evaluate waypoints along the route and off the route. Enter the flight plan waypoint Fillmore. The information displayed is based on flying the flight plan route to Fillmore. Waypoints not in the flight plan may be evaluated also. This is so ETA and fuel estimates for waypoints not in the flight plan can be displayed without leaving the progress page. For example, enter waypoint Mustang. The information is based on flying direct to Mustang because it is not in the flight plan. Destination information can be restored by deleting the waypoint. Delete waypoint Mustang. Use the progress page to determine the fuel at waypoint dikes. Restore the progress page. Delete the entered waypoint. Notums show that GPS is out of service. Inhibit the FMC's use of GPS. Select the index prompt. Select the position initialization page. The inhibit prompt is on page 3. 
Select the GPS navigation off on prompt. Update the FMC position to the Aderu position. The FMC can be manually updated on position reference page 2. Touch the highlighted key. The position pages are selected from the initialization reference index page. Touch the highlighted key. Select the correct page. Touch the highlighted key. The update now prompt is on page 2. Touch the highlighted key. Select the update arm prompt. Touch the highlighted key. Select the correct navigation system. Touch the highlighted key.